And welcome to She Shaves with your host, Jill. Yep, I'm Jill. So, um, oh, let's take care of some business. Uh, I've been using a different brush every time I shave. Uh, so I go through my 30 plus brushes. So going in the box out there is going to be my uh, uh, Green Ray brush from PAA. And also my... Um, I just went brain dead. You know I don't like this brush, but it's coming along finally. So, um, God damn it, what the hell is the name of this brush? It's a Smoke, Smoke 360. Anyway, these two I use, but she is coming along quite nicely. Brain fart, I'm sorry about that. I like my Omegas for my boars. So anyway, um, today's video is going to be about a challenge I had, and it was from a while ago. And I kind of put it off and said, I don't know if I want to do that because I already did the 54321 challenge. But this particular challenge was if you can only have one product from each category for a traditional wet shave, and you had to use it to, to the end of the year, what would you choose? Now, that that was a hard one. At first, I was going to choose uh, La Bufana because I love this stuff. It's my favorite scent uh, right now. But, you know, I thought, it's not that it's real heavy, but we're coming into the spring and summer months, so I wanted to pick a little lighter scent. So... If I was going to have to use this soap for the rest of the year, I chose Zingari Man's The Gypsy. Now, this is a beautiful citrus, cucumber, and pineapple scent. And, oh, it's just so, so fresh. So, that is the soap that I would choose. Now, whoa, I got a mess here. Uh, the razor I would choose, of course, would be my Rockwell 6C. And that's because of the versatility of it and being able to use the different plates for different circumstances. But for the, and it comes with all the plates that you need, one through six. And for this shave, I'm going to use plate three, which is my favorite one. And I think I, that's the one I have in there already. So, there's my Rockwell 6C <clears throat> that I'm going to use. And my favorite blade to use for the rest of the year would be the Nassette. <coughs> I have a frog in my throat. So, let me grab one of those blades. This might be a long video. And it does have glue bumps, but none of it is on the blade, which is a good thing. I better put that down. Three piece. Put that on there. Let me make sure I got the right bottom cap. Yep. The R3 with that NASA. Okay, lined up perfectly as usual. Now, the brush, my favorite brush of all time, and I've got some expensive, I've got inexpensive, but my favorite brush of all time is the Plusoft Knot brush from Razor Rock. I just love my Plusoft Knot 
brushes. So that's the uh, brush I'm going to be using. So let me uh, wet my face again. And I'm going to put a very strange, um, very strange pre-shave on. I'm going to put on an aftershave balm. And it's going to be the Sensitive 5-in-1 by Aqua Velva. I know, it's weird. But I saw somebody else using balm for that. And I thought I'd try it. What the hell? Okay, so let's wet the brush. Don't no need to soak the plus on or plus soft brush. Just get it damp. And I'm gonna wring it out a little. And I won't get to loading. Oh. Oh, it's just filling up the bathroom with the great scent. It's so refreshing. Mmm, mm mm mm. Again, that's citrus, cucumber, and pineapple. And this is the vegan. Put a good load on it. And it's so creamy. I'm going to add even more water while I load it. And get a really good load. I believe that's a really good load. <laughs> so let's take the proto lather out of the jar. Waste not, want not. Goodness, I could shave with that. Look at that. Look how creamy and glistening that is. Wow. Rinse my hands off. And yeah, let's lay down the lather. So I did not get to the store today for my prescriptions and to get some food like I wanted to. So I have to fight the traffic at the grocery store tomorrow on a Sunday. lather. Look at that lather. Mm -mm -mm. And this plus soft brush is so soft. It's just marvelous. It smells so good. Yep, I could use that for the rest of the year. Okay, here we go. Plates three on my Rockwell 6C.
so our governor finally did a stay at home decree oh that's perfect nice glide from the soap Let's glide with the razor that's in this, uh, razor blade rather, that's in this razor. It's a little scary. I live in a little city, Plant City in Florida, and um, it, it's a tiny city. And we actually have four corona virus cases here now. And there's a lot of senior citizens here. And we are the most in danger. And what makes it scary is, well, I haven't looked to see the ages. I don't know if they even have the ages posted of those four cases. But I'm thinking they probably are seniors. But if I was in a, let me finish this pass. Okay, that's great. If I was in a more populated area of Florida, and I became ill and had to be hospitalized. And I was in an area where they were having trouble obtaining ventilators and that sort of thing. And there was a 30-year-old in the bed next to me. And we both had the coronavirus. And there was only one ventilator. Unfortunately, that ventilator would go to the 30-something-year-old person because the medical community, in their decision, when they triage, in that case it would be kind of like a triage-type situation, would pick that 30-something-year-old instead of somebody that was older because they figure they're at the end of their life anyway let's say the 30 something year old person so I would be sacrificed I mean I don't have that many years left in my life anyway but I don't know how hard it must be for them to decide who would get treatment and who wouldn't but that's the reality of the situation in a triage type situation. All right, let's do a second pass. That's very nice. And that's exactly why I would choose this Rockwell 6C 
if I could only have one razor to use for the rest of the year because of its versatility, because of its uh, quality and the shave it gives. And this soap is great. I don't know why I haven't used it more often. Final pass, kind of like a pickup. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. Stretching my neck is like stretching it with my hand. Oh wow, that's perfect. The soap is just having the razor just glide ever so smoothly. Man, I would have no problem using this for the rest of the year. Now you can see from the, where did I put it? The label that it says Zingari Skin Care. This is before, um, this was th thought of kind of like a woman's soap, but I'll tell you, you guys would like it too. Um, but she now has it in her regular Zingari Man area. I believe. I don't see any way a guy wouldn't like this scent. Unless he's like threatened by the scent of it. <laughs> And he's not secure in his sexuality. <laughs> Citrus, cucumber, and pineapple. I was going to do a straight razor shave, and I've been thwarted two videos in a row by things I decided to do instead of that shave, but that will be coming. All right, that's the end of that pass. Let me rinse my face. Let that water out. Let's do a cold water rinse. I'm going to put a little alum on here. Just to tighten everything up. Oh, sorry. about you guys but I've not been sleeping well <laughs> you can only watch so much Netflix you know what I mean all right let's rinse that off right away that felt good 
It doesn't taste good. Oh, I've been so excited the last few days. Um, I watch um, on YouTube this... Um, let me get my post shave. So I'm going to use the um, Thayer's Witch Hazel Lavender because there is lavender in that soap. Or is there? Or is that the other? Oh, no. Oh, citrus. Oh, well. I'm going to grab this anyway. Put that on. So I changed soaps. But I didn't bring out what I was going to use. Okay, what I am going to use is the uh, Chateau Luxe Skin Salve. And that is the Fresh Citrus. And you don't need a lot of this at all. I'm so out of it. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, that was a perfect shave. Oh, so anyway, I was talking about the uh, the uh, Eagles. And um, the couple is called Harriet and M15. And um, for the season, they lost their first two eggs. Um, one egg was never viable, and the other one, unfortunately, lost a blood feather and bled to death. So they were just heartbroken, just totally heartbroken. And um, th so they continued mating, and they were just mating like crazy. And I said, wow, I've never seen them mate that that often after, you know, uh, the eggs and everything, whether they were viable or not. And they were just screwing like crazy. Well, come to find out, they ended up having a second, uh, what they call a clutch, so they had egg three and four, and they just hatched the last few days, and it's so exciting. I love watching those little eagles, their little bobbleheads, <laughs> and they, they're like little weebles and that wobble and fall down, so that's been fun to watch. If you haven't uh, watched uh, a live uh, eagle nest, bald eagle nest, it's uh, southwest Florida. Uh, eagle cam. It's 24-hour eagle cam. It's it's really interesting uh, to watch it. It's just amazing. These these birds are just amazing. So anyway, if you haven't already done it, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you would too. If you want to share it, share the video. But um, so I'm going to call it a night for right now. And everybody, please be safe. Please be safe. Follow the guidelines that. Uh, that we've been given. Protect yourself, protect others around you, because you guys know I love you, right? Right? Bye-bye.